welcome to boundless geek youtube channel in today's videos i will tell you how to set up ssh port source tree and bit bucket on your windows operating system so the whole process will be completed in only five steps the five steps are very easy so let's start by first step in the first step we will install source tree and create and bitbucket account to install the source tree you need to open the website source tree app.com and you need to click on the download for windows after downloading the source tree you need to install it on your system the one thing you need to remember during the installations you need to ignore the login settings during the installations because we will do setting after installations and it is easy so our first step is complete we will mark it done the second step is we need to add our account to bit bucket before it we will create a bit bucket account to create a bit bucket account we need to open the website bitbucket.org and we need to click on get started then we can create an account i already created an account so i will log in by directly my email address and my password so i logged in by my account I logged in my account now I will add my bitbucket account to source tree so let's see how I will add my account so here after installing the source tree you will open and it will look like this in the new tab I mean in the new creation project you will see a remote remote option then you need to click on the add account hosting service will be bitbucket host url will be the same and preferred protocol will be the ssh and authentication will be the basic and we need to add our accounts username my username is this and I will add my password now so you can see authentications ok my account is added you can see so our second step is complete we will mark it as done the next step is create an SSH key so now we will create SSH keys by your source tree private and public ssh keys so let's do we need to click on tools then create or import ssh keys then we need to click on generate option to generate the keys so now click on generate button and now we need to move our mouse cursor on the blank area to generate the keys like this now you can see the key is generated so we need to enter pass phrase for key that is now you can see so this key uh, we will save the private and public keys from here and the generation type will be RSA that is default 204 we can change it according to our setting but it will be default for bitbucket so now we will save it as public key
P U B I I C. So public key is saved and now I will save it as private key. P so now I generated both the key public and private. So private key will be on our system and public key will be on bit bucket side. So our step third is completed so we will mark it as done next step is install your private key on pageant so to authenticate private key with source tree we need to install pageant and then we authenticate private key by pageant source tree so if you don't have installed pageant on your system you can download it from here this website, soft media website. Here, you can download from here. We can authenticate private key with, with source tree by its own setting from here. From here. Here. But present will be better if you want to push and pull the complex project and multiple projects so present will be better so now we will install private key on pageant let's see how i will do this is my pageant after install so add key this is my private key which we generated so it is asking for passphrase which I entered on the time of created. So I am entering my passphrase. Okay, now the key is added. So we can close it now. So this step is done. The last step is we need to add our public key into the Bitbucket setting. That is the important step. So we need to open the bit bucket here, bit bucket. Then we need to go to setting. Then we will see an option security. And under security, you can see SS keys. So two keys are already added. You can add multiple keys. So now I will click to add key button and my key will be default default public key so I need to enter the public key code here so this is my public key I will copy it and I will paste it I will click on add key the key is added you can see default public key added just now and last use never I just added it still didn't use it so it is showing last use never so our fifth step is complete So this is how we added SSH Bitbucket and source tree. This is very easy only in five steps. So guys, thank you so much.